guys welcome back um how's it going i hope you're well i hope you're looking after yourself today um welcome to a little sunday reset with me i woke up this morning feeling super just burnt out and anxious like i don't think i've really stopped this week there's been a lot a lot on my mind so my boyfriend took me out for a walk because that just always helps me and i always i'm like no 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 i'm fine like i don't need to go for a walk you know um but he always knows to take me out on a walk so we went for a walk around Hyde Park and we actually went on the pedalos on the lake there which is really really nice um something I haven't done in London before so yeah it was it was lovely and I just feel like I just feel so much better now um I think I just needed to do something away from work or social media or planning or anything to do with like the future <laughs> because I feel like there's a lot of stuff stressing me out in terms of that recently like um we've been having a few issues with our flat and things like that so yeah there's just been a lot a lot going on so i feel like i'm in dire need of just a relaxing chill but a little bit productive life sort out get my shit together evening <laughs> i have such a busy life and just schedule in general that i always kind of generally need like a day in total a week to just like chill and do nothing like even being on camera sometimes can be quite difficult because of my anxiety so um that was the situation earlier today hence me starting this video at what half past five in the evening so what are we doing tonight um short answer is basically whatever i feel like doing whatever i can do i will do <laughs> but a long answer is taking time just out of my week to just decompress spend some time with myself and my boyfriend and make sure that I fully reset and just re-energize myself, ready for my busy nine to six week that starts again tomorrow. So I've written down a little to-do list to share with you. Um, I don't know if I'll get all of this done tonight, but I want to try and get as much of this done as I possibly can. So this is my little to-do list for this evening. First up, we have organizing clothing. We've entered a new season. I love autumn, it's my favorite season, um, but it also does mean that I need to sort out all of my like summer clothes from my winter clothes. Also might rearrange the bedroom a little bit later because um, someone's coming in to paint the roof. We had an issue with a leak um, a while ago when there was a lot of downpour in London. We had a huge leak in our roof. So that's gonna be coming to be painted soon and we're not sure really when it is. So we're just gonna move stuff around so it's pretty easy for people to access that area to paint it. Planning for me on a Sunday is such a great thing because I have such a long to-do list all the time so planning stuff in and really like actually scheduling it into my week into my calendar makes me realize what I can and can't do like if I have a list of stuff I'll just be like yeah I can do all of that and then I'll get disappointed that I don't get that all done because actually I just don't have that time um so on a Sunday I really like to plan um, whether that's on Notion or on my iPad I kind of go between the two at the moment um, I feel like I'm like still just in between of how to organize everything I feel like certain things are better organized one way and certain things are better organized the other so it's just trying to find a balance somewhere in the middle basically I'm a week behind but I want to plan my goals for Q4 I really want to have like a really strong idea of where I want to be in a couple months time um so I'm going to write those down and I'm going to like schedule that into like my, my week so say I want to upload x amount of times I'm going to schedule that into my week um and make sure that I like leave enough time to actually do those things and also enough time to take care of myself as well um as I mentioned like I very much need that couple hours each day to just like chill a day at the weekend to chill I don't have a lot of time to myself with everything that I do and I'm trying to be better with that because I know that it like that is what I'm missing. So yeah, planning's gonna be a huge part of this evening. So hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of that done. We're gonna start with the bedroom and clothes and organization. I got some like boxy bag things to put my old slash summer clothes in. So we're gonna get going with that. We're gonna put a podcast on, I think. I listen to so, so many podcasts now. Um, I, it's bad, but it means that I could probably do like a little podcasty, my favorite podcast video soon if you're interested, let me know. Um, I'm gonna listen to What We Said, which is one of my favorite podcasts. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna put that episode on 
and get going, get sorting, because as soon as like my space is tidy, I know that will motivate me more to be productive, because um, I know I've got something done. So let's get going, let's get going. <laughs> now um, and I've just been like reorganizing where everything is I've put the TV up on there which looks so much better than the ironing board um, we just put the ironing board there as like a temporary thing moving in as you can see this is the damage that they're coming to cover up so I've just like left this space well it will be clear when we're finished here um, but yeah that's why everything's like moves the way it is so my plan for right now is to sort out first off this stuff on the bed um, and just move it to somewhere else for now while I sort out my clothes because I have clothes in these suitcases behind me. I need to work out whether I'm gonna store them in the wardrobe or somewhere under the bed um, and what kind of stuff I want to move back to my parents' house because I feel like I've just got way too much stuff here. Hopefully we will be done relatively soon. Um, as I mentioned, I've been listening to the What We Said podcast, which I absolutely love. So I've been very much enjoying that. It's been good so far. Um, I am getting a little bit warm though, so I feel like I'm gonna have to like take this jumper off because it is a little bit, little bit cozy in here. We're making progress um, and I'm gonna go back to organizing things and cleaning up this room to just feel as nice and minimalistic as possible because I feel like it just hasn't felt like that since we've moved in because we've both been so, so busy. So very excited to just like have this room feel. Feel nice. setting part of this evening I clean my space because after a long week of work and everything it just makes me feel like I've got a fresh space to move into tomorrow um, I lit myself a candle which I recently bought and I am ready to get get my shit together I use my iPad and Notion for planning, so I got out my iPad and started writing out some content ideas for YouTube, my podcast, etc. And then once I had finished writing out those things, I planned out my week, so I started planning out Monday and how I'm going to structure my day then. Um, during the week for work, I really, really like to use this planner that I have on my iPad.
I moved over to Notion to my goal setting page and also brought up my calendar so I can oversee how realistic the goals I was setting were in accordance to what I have planned for the next few months. So I'm planning out my goals and writing them into this board and then I can track them throughout the next three months. I'm going to chat to you in just a sec about all of my goals um, but I'm super excited to try and get as many of these planned into my calendar as possible. video with something else that I love to do when I just need to reset and rethink about what I want from my week or day. Now creativity you know it's so so important to me and I love to find ways to practice that as well as mindfulness and looking after myself. So here's where the sponsor of today's video comes in which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community which prioritizes giving you the space to learn new skills and inspire your creativity. They have thousands of online classes which allow you to explore new areas you perhaps haven't even ventured into before. At the moment, I have been taking the Creativity Unleash, Discover, Hone and Share Your Voice Online class by Nathaniel Drew, who is an online content creator. As a creator myself, both online and also offline, finding clarity within my vision for my own work and goals is of the highest importance to me. This class encourages you to think deeper about how to share your creative ideas and identifying your individual value as a creator. Every lesson is paired with these reflection questions and journaling exercises which allow me to take new ideas with me when starting new projects. You can take this course for free by clicking the link in my description box and you'll also receive access to thousands and thousands of classes on Skillshare for a whole month. Thank you Skillshare for partnering with me on this video as always and I'll get back to the video. Hey guys, um, so as you would have seen, I have now tidied the entire bedroom, which was a much bigger job than I had anticipated it would be. We've both been just so busy over the last few months that we've just been like chucking anything and everything under the bed if we don't need it. Um, so it's just been a bit of an unorganized mess as you could probably see. But it is now very organized and great and we know things that we're gonna be taking back to our parents. I also made dinner. We had sausages and mash and like vegetables. We made like an onion gravy. It was just, it was delicious, would highly recommend. Anyway, I have just been writing down my goals for Q4. So I thought I would briefly discuss them with you while my boyfriend's at Tesco. So in terms of goal setting, for me, I have found that just setting goals without like a measurable number just doesn't work for me. Like saying, oh, I wanna do more of this, I wanna do more of that. It does nothing for me. Like I need, do this four times, do this three times. Like that's what I need to achieve something. I have three sections which are content creation, life progression and well-being. I have my work goals elsewhere, but those goals are very, very personal to my job. So I'm not gonna share them online. Okay, content creation up first. We have create two short form pieces of content per week. Now, obviously take into consideration with all of this that I do work nine to six throughout the entire week. So um, two times a week doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, it's quite a lot. <laughs> um, and these are kind of like two high quality short form content, like um, morning routine, spend the day with me, spent like, I want to do, two proper short form types of content a week. Long form, I would like to post three videos a month. I am hoping for four, however, I'm gonna be realistic because I've got a hell of a lot on the next few months and go with three. I really hope that I can do four and like everything could be really consistent. That's the aim and that's what I'm planning into my calendars, um, but yeah. Also, if I sound like ill, I've got progressively more ill throughout the day. I woke up this morning not feeling too great and I now still don't feel great. It's kind of come back. So if I feel, if I sound really bunged up, that is why. And then my other content creation goal is to post four podcast episodes a month. Um, I love the podcast. It's something I really am working hard on and I want to stay as consistent at it as I possibly can. 
I'm gonna do my absolute best. And if I miss a week, I miss a week, but I know this is a huge goal of mine, so I'm gonna work really hard. Next up, we have life progression. So we have finished my creative marketing course. Um, I started a creative marketing course where there's like four parts to it. Um, and it's like an accredited um, certificate. And I've been really wanting to finish the other three parts of it. I finished one already, which is really exciting. Um, I really, really loved it. Also on this list too, um, is possibly buying a editing PC. Now this has been on my radar for quite a while now because I'm very, very into video editing. However, there's only so much my MacBook can take and I really want to try and up my content, not for YouTube necessarily, but I want to create my own freelance projects um, that I'm really genuinely proud of. I want to be able to do everything in high quality 4K. Um, so building and buying an editing PC is like very much on my radar for the next couple months. The last section, which is well-being, I have three goals for. So I have exercise slash go to the gym three times a week. Um, next year, I'm considering doing a half marathon. Still yet to like 100% decide whether I really want to do it or whether I'm like not too sure and would prefer to just like do a few like 10K runs. Um, however, uh, I want to really improve my agility and my fitness and really achieve some goals that I have in mind for that. Um, but I also don't want to be too strict to myself. As you established, I work a full-time job, so um, three times a week seems realistic to me. Um, I could go every day, but I feel like I would just be very, very tired doing that. Next up, I'm really struggling to film this because I'm really bunged up. Um, definitely need a lens up. <laughs> Next up, we have journal three times a week. This is something that I've been wanting to really probably implement. I've been like, yeah, I'm gonna journal, but I just don't book time into my calendar to do it. Like if I've booked time into my calendar, I will do it. However, a lot of the time that's not what I do. So um, yeah, I'm gonna book journaling into my calendar. And my last wellbeing goal for the month, which is arguably the one I'm most excited about, which is I want to read five books a month, whether they're physical books or whether they're audio books. Um, I'm pretty content with them being as like whatever I want them to be basically. Non-fiction fiction doesn't bother me. I just want to um, really make that a goal for myself. Um, I set myself a goal of 22 books in 2022. I think I'm at like six or seven, um, which to be fair, it's not, that, it's not too bad. However, I would really, really like to hit my goal of 22 books by the end of the year. I think I'm gonna be able to do it. So um, I have a couple of other goals as well, but those are gonna be featured in videos over the next few months. So stay tuned to see like what my like smaller, like um, out of my comfort zone goals are. Speaking of like my reading goals and everything, thought I would give you a little bit of an update um, because I did, I was about halfway through reading Boy Parts by Eliza Clark and i i just didn't want to really want to pick it up anymore and for me that's just a sign of like me not really being too engaged with it i did enjoy it and i can see myself going back and reading it i just feel like i wasn't really in the right like headspace to read that it's a really weird book to read it almost feels like you're what like reading someone going downhill and it was just a bit of a weird vibe however very well written really appreciate the book but i just decided the best thing would just be to like dnf it and start a new book so the book i've just started is daisy jones and the six so so excited to read this book this has been on my list and literally on my physical tbr for such a long time and I'm just so, so excited about this. So the rest of my night is just gonna be very, very chilled. I'm about to clean up the kitchen, put stuff in the dishwasher and end my night with like a clean living room ready for work tomorrow. I know this video hasn't been like the most crazy thing, you know, I, like the most action packed video, um, but I'm starting to realize that maybe that doesn't need to be every single video. Like a video is better than no video. And even if it is, shorter or maybe doesn't have the amount of content that i planned to be in it within it um it's still not worth tracking away i'm going to have a little bit of a self-care rest of my evening so i'm gonna montage everything enjoy the self-care <laughs>
Thank you.